the incident occurred, who wishes to remain anonymous for the purposes as one of the individuals that was present at the scene, uh, a witness who's an employee at the location where the incident occurred, who wishes to remain anonymous for the purposes of the affidavit for reasons of her safety, was interviewed. <clears throat> she confirmed that uh, she encountered an individual holding the phone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we play any of that, we're going to play the whole thing of that. I need y'all to listen to the whole thing. And this is making us correct about this entire case. Now, I've been telling y'all they got real witnesses who were actually there that's going to help them solve this case completely. I told you they ain't worrying about bloggers and nothing like that, even though it might help them. But they really go off of people who was there. And I've been telling y'all there's been several witnesses who claim they came from the interrogation room of the HPD, basically the Houston Police Department and detectives, all that. They gave all the information. You got people who was out here blaming mob ties for everything. Like, oh, yeah, we just going to throw it on mobbing them like that. People didn't even care. Yes, we going to throw it on the mob. That's what they were saying, not my words. So when you seen this came about, man, before I keep going and going, bro, we, I need y'all to smash that like button right quick before we go anywhere. I am your host, DJ Bless. Well, thank you for watching another episode of the I Smoke Hip Hop Live Movement. Salute the I Smoke Hip Hop Nation. You feel me? Like, share, and subscribe to the platform. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss no updates. I also want to give love to Pesh Mayweather one time. Y'all go follow the YouTube channel. Go give some love to his Instagram as well. But it's a lot going on. We been told y'all about these witnesses. I'm about to play the video, but we got to get it going like this. Now, these witnesses came out and about everybody trying to make it be the amigos trying to make it be mobbing them we seen everything being given out let's not even lie like from it started with this guy over here who didn't reveal his name but he was one of the goons in the room playing in the dice game and you seen what he wrote so quavo was shooting dice and he was getting his pockets broke off i'm not gonna even read the whole thing y'all can pause it and read it and this is the infamous thing that kicked off all this and started all this and then he even posted the picture you feel me you don't think the cops seen all this posted a picture of him and who was what in the room doing whatever so there was more witnesses who came about to speak out you had the storm monroe show who had one of the females who spoke out and this individual female named ashley don't worry it's gonna make sense i'm gonna play the prosecutors later we gotta play this to match it up now ashley talked to storm and this was she said about the entire thing i'm not saying she's the one who who uh um they're using the actual evidence against little cam but they did specifically say a female now look hey storm um i just want to say something really quick and yes. i'm gonna try not to give out my identity um we were all there right when okay all this happened i just left from hpd first of all in you just heard what she said i just left from hpd she said i just left from hpd listen all this happened i just left from hpd first of mm -hmm. all in order not to give out my identity um we were all there when okay. all this happened i just left from hpd first of all in now we're gonna play that interview shout out to storm but if y'all want to hear the entire interview go follow storm monroe show and go subscribe to him if you want to follow where that's coming from but let's go to that news again you know what i mean let's go to what the guys actually state now we can look at that part they're gonna tell you it was the female who basically led them the little cam cam listen location of the incident and the video uh surveillance that was that was captured uh during the night of the investigation night of the incident it was obtained by law enforcement it clearly depicts cameron joshua's face um, as one of the individuals that was present at the scene uh, the witness who's an employee at the location where the incident occurred, who wishes to remain anonymous for the purposes of the affidavit for reasons of her safety, was interviewed. <clears throat> she confirmed that uh, she encountered an individual holding the firearm that was trying to rack the gun during the incident, showing it was a functioning firearm. Uh, she identified that person from the surveillance video by clothing and physical characteristics. This was determined to be the same person as this defendant, Cameron Joshua. Officers discovered that Mr. Joshua was convicted of the felony offense of grand theft in California on October 27, 2022. 
making him a convicted felon for the purpose. Now, we'll go back. We'll replay that part again later, but let, 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 let's speed this up, man. You feel me? They're basically concluding that this female had enough information to give to them for you know the final verdict of yeah little cam gotta go down for something and they giving him the the actions of charges for that weapon he's seen on that famous tmz video you already got the duke the jeweler situation so they can't get another situation out the door you know what i mean they know migo ban had a legend weapon on him but migo ban was kind of like a hero he was clutching because it was a heated situation you know, not to say that Little Kim ain't, ain't did the same thing, because I didn't even say I seen him shot take off. I never said that like other bloggers been doing. I've been saying we only see him with a weapon. And that was enough for them to charge him because that's how I know they're trying to come for them because they know they seen something that made Cam around Patrick for whatever reasons, because all of a sudden Patrick gets arrested. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's kind of spooky, but we ain't going to get into it now. Now, witness who was posting messages all over Instagram with the shade room said she also came from HPD headquarters and you can see what she wrote here now let's go to a bigger screenshot she said I saw him there but I don't know him you know what I'm saying talking about Cam she said I know he was at the table gambling which we already seen that you feel me sherry the witnesses are going crazy she said i think he was with people from fifth ward but i'm from a leaf in the southwest so i don't know them so that might have been the one who said it because there's definitely pics of him you feel me at the table gambling and doing all that exactly the way she stated it you can literally see this so what are people going to do with this after finding this and that's the thing that that was in a nutshell of everything you think they didn't have this TMZ video of Cam with the weapon right here? So they're going to want to see what it is. And then she said, all I know, he was with mob ties in them. You know what I mean? And then you see a picture of the Duke the Jeweler famous dice game. And who's there? Lil Cam is there. These are things public. This ain't no secret. This ain't no snitching. All this is on the internet, y'all. This ain't no secret, bro. All of it. So this is what people was alluding to and going towards. So when he said, yeah, yeah, whatever, we on that. People didn't care if Cam was the shooter or not. They just seen him doing the most. They wanted him out the way, I guess, or whatever, for whatever reason. Cops felt like they should have did something. Whatever y'all could take from that. I'm going to continue saying it like that. Now, him getting identified by the female is crazy because we're hoping... You feel me? They can't identify who this female is because that'll be bad for her. She says she's from the fifth. I mean, she's not from the fifth, but she's around them enough where people might be able to know her or whatever. You know what I mean? So all that situation is already looking crazy. It's already looking bad. Now, what I want to do is show you what she said is verified. You can see Cam here gambling. And if you don't know if that's him or not, you can look at a different angle where Quavo is looking at Cam right over here where he's actually gambling too. Now, let, we rewinded it, but before I play what they said, let's go to Storm Monroe's show and listen to Ashley. In order to be around Jazz Prince, you have to be searched. None of us had guns, but Jazz, but Jazz people had guns okay all of this about this was over a dice game this shit started in fifth ward around 9 30 10 last night so oh. this had nothing to do with no damn shit, dice game man. with no money situation or anything like that and the only reason why i'm not going to great details because i live in houston and the prince family know me but Jeez. all of this shit that there she said the prince family knows me so when she said that part about the prince family knowing her you know what i mean you gotta go play this video right again right quick hang on let's play this and at the scene uh the witness who's employee at the location where the incident occurred who wishes to remain anonymous for the purposes of the affidavit for reasons of her safety was interviewed <clears throat> she confirmed that uh, she encountered an individual holding the firearm that was trying to rack the gun during the incident showing it was a functioning firearm uh, she identified that person from the surveillance video by clothing and physical characteristics. This was determined to be the same person as this defendant, Cameron Joshua. Officers discovered that Mr. Joshua 
was convicted of the felony offense of grand theft in California on October. Exactly. We got to wait till the ballistics come out because they're saying that it's not Cameron. So that would tell me prosecutors got the ballistics already, right? They know who gun had what or did what. At least that's what I'm thinking. So y'all let me know if I'm wrong or not. And even if I'm wrong, I've been giving y'all updated information. I just need y'all to do one thing, man. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking out with the best out here, man. The I Smoke Hip Hop Live movement. Salute to all of y'all. Peace to the kings and the queens man indeed for real